What is the consequence for a notary public who engages in the unauthorized practice of law according to the professional conduct section of the New York State Notary Public Law? To help us answer this question, let's have a look at the professional conduct section of the New York State Notary Public License Law. And I've excerpted a section here from that professional conduct section which states, unless a lawyer, the notary public may not engage directly or indirectly in the practice of law. Listed below are some of the activities involving the practice of law which are prohibited and which subject the notary public to removal from office by the Secretary of State and possible imprisonment, fine, or both. So that's the key here. It states removal from office by the Secretary of State and possible imprisonment, fine, or both, which are, of course, legal consequences. That will be relevant for when we're looking at the four choices. Speaking of which, let's have a look at the four choices. Choice A states, they are given a warning and a brief suspension. That is not the consequence that's stated in the law that I just read from, from the professional conduct section, and therefore choice A is not the correct solution. Choice B states they are required to take additional educational courses. That's also not stated in that section, and therefore choice B is not our solution. Choice C states they may be removed from office and face legal consequences. This is precisely what I read from before, but just before we mark it as the correct solution, let's have a look at choice D to be certain. Choice D states their notary commission is automatically renewed. That's certainly not what's stated there in the law, and therefore choice D is not the correct solution, which indeed leaves choice C. They may be removed from office and face legal consequences as the correct solution.